Soren. Um, in contrast to how it is when I rehearse after a long time, uh, you know, Paul Storm and I used to be, <clears throat> used to tour constantly together and sing together all the time. And uh, at the last minute I said, hey, will you guys do these two songs? They were like, yeah. And at the last minute we ran them and they were already perfect. So, these guys. Make everybody else look bad. Storm's even sick, for God's sake. This better be good. Yeah, no, now that I've set up expectations properly. Yeah, I'm just gonna be. Yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, this is about a dead dog in space. Just to lift this all up from the. Uh... Uh, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's about it. Okay, in reality, as there was a dead dog in space. But in the song. No, 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 in the song. In the song. Maybe like a is rescued by aliens. I mean, it doesn't say that in the song, but that's... It could be what's happening, yeah. Or maybe there's like four dead dogs in space. In the <laughs> there's probably a lot of dead dogs floating around Earth right now. We don't even know. Anyway. <laughs> this is how these shows used to go, pretty much. I wonder why we stopped touring so much. Oh. It's also an intonation problem, Jim. It's not just a tuning problem. All right, sorry, right, guys. Okay, the guitar needs a setup. All right, do you want to come and do a setup with my guitar? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna play it out of tune just to spite Jim Bowden. The cage is very small, a tiny silver ball that makes you a hero. The moment you step inside. World is watching you. What you're about to do will live on forever, even though you'll be dead and gone. But love, we're about to turn the engines on. Moscow is burning too. Receiving you, thanks for the dog food. Somewhere above you now is what Malashin cough. I took the collar off, I'm holding my own leash, walking myself outside this door. I don't think I want to be. It's a shame there is always something there. 